going on guys today i want to show you how to make your emissive objects actually emit light without putting point lights or anything in it to sort of like make it look like it's emitting light like putting a point <clears throat> putting a point light in here and going oh yeah that's red and like getting a kind of okay result versus an actual natural result so this is all just one button it's been in UE4 for quite a while but i from what i'm aware of not everyone sort of knows about it so as you can see, if we look at these guys, there's like no light being emitted here at all. There's no bleed of light on the walls or anything like that. But if we come over here, exact same objects, exact same material, but you've got some bleed effects. Again, in these little corridors, we have our lights. In this corridor, we have the exact same lights, but no bleed effect. There's the light, the room is not being lit up whatsoever. Right, so the way you set this up is first get your material set it up to look like something like this so you want your color whatever color you want you want to multiply it by however strong you want it to emit light then what you gotta do is click on the assets you got now this doesn't seem to be working for me anyway when it comes to basic assets i can't actually get the cube and the engine to work so i quickly export the cube over and i put it in the engine so you just plonk it in you put a glow on it let's do it down there Ooh. Whatever. We'll just put a big one in the middle. There you go. Um, you put your glow on it. You click on the object. You go down to lighting. Now this might be minimized, so just open it up. Click use emissive for static lighting. Tick that. Now I'll also show it in here. I'll click one of these lights, apply it on that. And then we'll just bake the lighting. Now 100% sure how demanding this is um, because it bakes the lighting out it shouldn't be too demanding on the rendering because it's all static it's all baked out lighting none of it's dynamic so if you were to have a character walk around this scene for example no shadow would be cast or anything like that so that's the like downside that's the con um, but the pros of it is that it gives quite a nice effect um, the more you have set up in environments so if I had all those lights in there all spread across an actual corridor or a school or something. That took a very, very long time to actually render. However, compared to actually using point lights and uh, spotlights, I don't know the actual time differences. All right, so as you can see, we're getting loads of bleed effects here now. The whole platform's pretty much lit up and loads of bleed on the wall. And if we come into this one, you can see this light's still not working, still not causing any light coming from it. Kind of looks like it just did there because of the way that the auto exposure works, but it's not. That's not emitting any light. This one, as you can tell, just by going next to it, loads of bleed effects around it, and obviously the end of that corridor is dark. The the end of that corridor is corridor is dark because that one's obviously not working. All right, and that's pretty much how you make your assets emit some light. Well, if there's some glow on them in the material. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you've been dying to ask me to do a tutorial or something like that. Leave it in the comment section. I'm hopefully going to get into making some more tutorials because I'm getting a bit more free time lately. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed. And bye-bye.